Hey, what is good about this morning? Hey, I beg you, I beg you. You have the right to be angry, but you see this issue of transferring aggression to someone else. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, is no go area. Hi everyone, hi special people, it's another beautiful day. If this is your first time joining me, I'm Genia. Welcome to Special Genia Special People's channel. In this channel, we say things the way it is. Yes, so wonderful people, I don't show again. With the things happening and the previous videos that I just made concerning a man flogging his two-month-old son with hunger that led to the amputation of his arm and the man who flogged his own five-year-old son with Aja Kod and the grandmother who flogged her granddaughter to death. Hmm. These are the things and many other things within the, within the country that have motivated me to discuss this topic today. Transferred aggression. Wonderful people on our welcome. You, my subscribers, and my oncoming subscribers, wonderful people, I really appreciate you all. Yes, you might have heard people saying transferred aggression, transferred aggression. Do you really know what it means? Do you know what the precipitating factors are? And many other things we'll be discussing in this topic today. So what is transferred aggression? Transferred aggression is an aggressive behavior directed to an individual who is not the cause or the source of your provocation <laughs> in a simple form it is imposing your anger to someone who is innocent and is not aware of your provocation wonderful people and this behavior comes into play as a result of when the cause of the provocation is unreachable or when the cause of the provocation is above the individual who is expressing this act transport aggression can also be known as displaced aggression redirected aggression or misplaced aggression so in case you hear them using these three words they are trying to explain transferred aggression transferred aggression which is an aggressive behavior can be expressed in two ways one verbal aggressive behavior which involves shouting calling of names you know uh this bad looks you know all those kind of gestures and swearing and the other aspect of it physical aggressive behavior where the person he are throwing of things hitting kicking of things these are the ways it can be expressed it's transferred aggression inborn or acquired this uh, aggressive behavior can be inborn or acquired the truth about today's discussion is that at one point in time of our lives we might have dished this anger to someone who is innocent or is unaware of our problems, you know. And the point of this discussion is to help each and every one of us to learn, to relearn, and to unlearn. So wonderful people, what are the precipitating factor causes behind this aggressive behavior that is directed to someone who is innocent? The causes are many but i'll just list few of it one childhood experiences yes bitter experiences fear anxiety stress unmet physical needs yes like we always say a hungry man is an angry man oh yes now make our people they carry this angry face oh yes when the country is tough every place is hard if you put hand here be like say no they walk that is the problem traumatic experiences such as abuse that is physical verbal and sexual abuse experiences of domestic violence yes when kids begin to experience all this goosebumps in the family where papa goosebumps mama mama goosebumps papa you know that pictures begin to build in their life and you think they are not learning <laughs> that is where it begins another precipitating factor is um frustration yes nigerian don't jagalize you know so everything is like not being in order and people are just looking for one way or the other to dish the anger out lack of personal power and here now when the boss strikes you or hits you or says heavy word to you you are scared to respond to him or her because you are scared of losing your job what next and you dish it out to the lower person behind you <laughs> the feeling of not being respected oh yes family wahala oh, oh, oh. when you are not treated nice by your loved ones emotional traumas oh my god not being recognized not being loved wonderful people if i begin to mention all these precipitating factors of transferred aggression 
<coughs> will not be able to conclude this topic today. Attitude and behaviors of others towards you. Uh -huh, that is it, you see. Um, environmental factors, mm -hmm. noise. Some people are easily irritated with noise. And when they get irritated, <coughs> you know what it's all about. Impaired cognitive ability. When you are done imposing your anger on this innocent person who wasn't the cause of your provocation, you forget that this single act alone might cause some damages which may last for a while or a lifetime and you forget to think about the effect. Hmm. Wonderful people. What are the negative effects of transferred aggression? Hmm. One, stimulates unnecessary anger. Yes, I put it unnecessary because this person you imposed your anger on never expected it and wasn't the cause of your provocation. Mm -hmm. Yes, now you just stimulated anger to this person who never planned or even thought of it. Two, it builds up hatred. That person will begin to build up hatred and there he or she will begin to withdraw from you. Three, it's turns friends into enemies. Most of your friends will not be able to stand your attitude. Four, it builds up unresolvable conflict. Uh -huh now, uh -huh now. Five, it makes you to whine a lot. People will no longer be comfortable to stay around you because every time you are whining, any little provocation. Six, when your tolerance rate is zero. <laughs> it will be very difficult to coexist with others. Uh -huh. And that is where people will say, ah, I can't live without, I can't stay with him, or, hmm, I can't stand them. Or, uh -huh. You see where the point is. But another effect of this transferred aggression is damages your personality. Ah, by then, you'll be finding it difficult to rebuild all what you have toyed for years. Wonderful people, whenever you remember this negative effects of transferred aggression, please, let it help you control your anger. It will help you take a chili pill. <laughs> hey, genius, stop. You yourself, eh? You know the heal. Yes, we have said a lot about this transferred aggression. How can one deal with this? In order to deal with this attitude, one need to first of all recognize this weakness, understand and accept that he or she needs change. Then you begin to deal with anger. Forgiveness is the key. You don't need to hold on to grudges. You don't need to hold on to offense and offenders. Let go of the past for it is past. Avoid things or people that triggers it. Keep yourself happy. Always see things in a positive way, no matter what is happening around you. Always look at things that life throws at you, that they are all for good. Look for a positive way to express your attention. Talk to someone who always have a listening ear to listen to your pains of light and is there to give you a calming words yes so mm -hmm. talk to professionals in conclusion transferred aggression is a psychological war which should be won by the individual it's necessary for each and every one of us to remember the effects which i just mentioned and be cautious of the way you act yes always remember if you cannot control the way people treat or respond to you, you can control the way you respond or you act. Thank you wonderful people for watching my videos. I really appreciate you all. This is for us. Let's do it together. See you some other time in my videos. Bye.